Ari, can you tell me what a request to exit is? So we have these life safety codes and the life safety codes have to balance security, which is the ability of the building owner to keep people from the outside from coming inside uh, and light and life safety, which is the ability of people from the inside to be able to leave as quickly as possible in case of an emergency. So we call this concept free egress. With electronic locks, we have to have an electronic means of uh, ensuring free egress. So, uh, and you'll usually see uh, these devices referred to as request to exit devices. And you'll use, a, uh, and you'll see the acronym RTE. Okay, uh, so RTE, request to exit. Is the motion request to exit sometimes referred to as a REX? So the motion detector request to exit device is usually called a REX. And in this video, when we say REX, that's what we'll mean. Okay, awesome. Can you tell me how this REX works, please? So you've got your mag lock and you've got your power running through the REX. Okay. And you have the beam of the REX uh, shooting straight out in front of the door, immediately in the area of the door. If somebody walks close enough to the door that they're intending to leave, the REX will pick them up. The and it'll cut power to the maglock, and the maglock will release, and that's how people uh, will be able to leave freely. Okay, so I see this particular request to exit is mounted over a door. Is there any other way to mount a, a request to exit? So you can mount a Rex just above the door. You can mount it on the ceiling above the door, as long as it's within 15 feet from the ground, and you can adjust the beam of the Rex so that it just detects the area immediately around the door. Okay. Uh, so can you tell me what the Bosch model numbers are and the differences between the model numbers for, for, for these particular request exits? Sure. So we have the DS-150 series. So the DS-150 includes the DS-150 in gray and the DS-151 in black. Okay. These are good for standard doors. These are good for single double doors. Uh, they come with a um, programmable latching relay. Then we have the DS-160 family. You've got the DS-160 in gray and the DS-161 in black. These are a little bit more advanced. You've got an internal sounder. You've got a sequential logic input. Now, a sequential logic input is a way of adding a secondary detecting device to the Rex. So you would have a second motion detector and you need to trigger those two devices in a sequence. So somebody coming to the door would first trigger the motion detector and then trigger the Rex, and only then would the mag lock be released. So if somebody was on the secure side and tried to slip something under the door in order to trigger the Rex, typically what would happen there, if it's designed well, is that they would trigger the Rex first and then trigger the SLI device second, and that would cause the mag lock to remain locked. Uh, you also have a more adjustable field of view and you have up to 64 uh, second adjustable latching relay. That's all very cool information, very interesting. Um, if people want to design help or more information on these particular REXs, where would they go? So if you want to design help, for example, if you wanted to know uh, what kind of door to use this on, like if you wanted to know if you had an interior door uh, or a um, uh, door in a low to medium threat application, you'd want to use the DS-150 if you had uh, an exterior door or a high uh, threat application or you had a door uh, like an architectural door or glass door or something that had a lot of gaps and you'd want to use the DS-160. If you had questions like those, okay. you would call, if you were in the uh, Middle Atlantic States, you would call Chesapeake and Mid-Atlantic Marketing, you'd call me. Uh, if you were outside of the Middle Atlantic States, you would call your local Bosch representative and that information is going to be on the bottom of the screen over there. Well, that's great. Uh, thank you for your time today, Ari. My pleasure. Thanks so much.